Hey guys, in this video we're going to take a look at default parameters in ES6 as well as the spread operator. So with default parameters, they actually made it really easy. In fact, if you know PHP and a bunch of other languages, um, it pretty much, much works the same way. So let's say we have a function called greet, and this is going to console log. Let's put up here, greeting. And it's just going to log the greeting down here. We'll call it. We'll say greet and we'll say hello. Save that. Run it. And we get hello. Now, what if we want to be able to actually run this without a parameter? Okay, it's going to get undefined, obviously, because greeting isn't defined. So all we have to do to define the default value is just say equals and we'll make it say hello world save it reload and we get hello world so this is very very simple but let's take a look at the difference between ES6 and ES5 in this in this aspect alright so at the Babel website I'm gonna to go to try it out and I'm just going to copy what we have in here actually it's already there all right, so if you look over here, you can see the difference. Um, we have to define the variable greeting, setting it to argument if the argument's length is greater than or less than zero, or it's equal to undefined. If it's not, then it's equal to hello world, then we have argument zero. So it's just uh, a lot more complicated to do it this way. Um, so I think it's a really nice feature. It's a simple change but it, it'll make things more efficient. All right, so that is default parameters. Now we're going to take a look at the spread operator. You can close that up. So the spread operator is, is uh, represented as three dots, and it's used to allow an expression to be expanded in places where uh, multiple arguments are expected. So what I'm going to do here is, let's say, let args and we're going to set that to an array of one two three all right and then we're going to have a function called test and all this is going to do is console.log args all right so if we want to get these args into here what we could do is use we can use the apply method which is what we would do an ES5. So we would say test dot apply, pass in null, and then pass in args. All right, and if we save that and run it, you can see down there we get one, two, three. All right, now we don't have to do this with the spread operator. Okay, all we have to do now is just say test, pass in the spread operator, which is three dots, and then args. Reload and we get the same thing. We could also do something like this. We could do two sets of arguments. We'll set this one to 456. Down here we'll say console.log args and then let's do a little concatenation, put a comma there. This will be args2, this will be args1. And then down here all we need to do is pass in args2, args1. Reload. Uh, what did I do? Oh, I put that one on the wrong side. Okay, so now we get one through six. All right, so I don't know how much that'll help you. It's just a new change and um, makes things a little easier, a little cleaner. So that's going to be it for this video. Uh, in the next video, in the next couple, we're going to start getting into some of the new data structures.